What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Mike. And our coverage this week is sponsored by Long Beach Gives. Visit longbeachgives.org and find your Long Beach charity. This video is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company. All of our Wilson coverage is sponsored by Joel Batonio, and all of our Millican coverage is sponsored by Curtis Boyer. Thanks to all of those sponsors. Hey, I know you. It's neighbor versus neighbor, more league opener at Wilson, where the Bruins are hosting the Millican Rams, two teams coming from two very different places, Mike. You could say that, JJ. Millican won a very close game in Arizona in overtime last week. Very emotional victory for the Rams. They're coming in trying to keep their momentum hot. Wilson, winless, but they've never stopped fighting all season long and they're going to do that again tonight got to start with the star of the night quarterback miles jackson he's going to show you his new fancy footwork here on the first two plays something he worked on hard in the off season and two runs from the quarterback just like that 40 yards for your offense not too shabby watch me work says jackson that feet work is looking real good as shaq would say two plays later fourth play of the game jackson to matt martinez and they're not gonna get him 50 yard touchdown uh, apologize to uh, Ty Atterbury, just missing that pancake block, but it was a huge part of the TD. So shout out to you, 5-4. And is the route on? Uh, maybe so. Wilson rushing attack, though, JJ, showed up to play with Christian Chapman leading the way. All 11 plays on this drive were runs. Everyone's looking at Deuce. The first six plays were to him, but that allows quarterback Ian Bond to get loose. Big shouts to the Wilson offensive line for improving for C squared and Jalen Nelson to find some open space. So with all the eyes in the backfield, He's a secret agent. He's sneaking around. His name's Bond. Ian Bond. Oh, eight yard touchdown. And you could feel the relief in this stadium. That Bruins side needed something to cheer about early. They needed it so bad. Look at crazy crew go. Well, crazy. <laughs> well, that is uh, fair enough. That's what they were meant to do. 7-7, seven, seven, but Milliken's Nigel Osborne is like, running? Well, anything you can do, I can do better. He's tippy-toeing down to the sideline. He's out at the five yard line after a 34 yard run. Next play, Jackson gonna get the Joe jiggling. Miranda on the quick strike TD, on a quick strike drive. Jackson just throwing it to windows, and his wide receivers are getting there. From that point on, the Millican defense was dialed in to stop the run, and they certainly did that. Craig Gordon, Mason Popkin, and Matthew Robinson all in on that big stop. And then MJ right back to work. He's going to hit Eminem, going all slim, shady, shimmy for the first down. That's Matt Martinez making it happen. Look at how comfy Jackson is delivering that quick hit route to Jordan Anderson. That is another first down for Millican. They're driving. And then a few plays later, Osborne is back in his bag going round the outside, round the outside. That's two Eminem references on one drive, Mike. Yes. And that's a score from 10 yards out. Milliken is up 20-7 to seven early in the second quarter. But Wilson is stuck in third and long on their next drive. They're going to get zero first downs because that's Anderson, agent zero with the interception. The rule at the 5-6-2 is if you pick it, you got to six it. But we've got a little technicality. We might have to go to the Court of Appeals here. He does six it, but there is a flag, so they don't get the touchdown. I'm going to give him credit, JJ. I I'm giving him credit as well. I mean, he's out there doing everything on both sides of the ball. No worries, though. Easy as you like. Jackson going to place his pass perfectly for Martinez, second TD. And he's got a message. Yeah, I love the 5 6 <laughs> We do too, buddy. We do too. Milliken is now cruising 28-7. Vaughn and the Bruins opening up a little bit now. A nice throw, nice catch, and some yak to Cruz Havens. He's going to try and matriculate it down the field. Wilson driving. Bond going to want a big play. He's got a guy out there, but Jaden Hunt is hunting for those pass deflections. Lucky number 13 forces a punt. And this is how versatile Jackson is, really. That's an option play. And he's calling his own number. Kid finished the night with 101 yards rushing. Then they get the ball at 3.49 left till halftime with 49 seconds left. A back shoulder pass to Jello is too nice. 20 yarder is a fourth touchdown for Jackson in the first half and they're up 35-7. So what does Jackson do? D does he start celebrating? Does he get in the camera? No, he goes to the sideline and starts talking to his coaches about what other plays will work. Dude, it's 35-7. to seven. Like, I love that work ethic, that drive, that, hey, let's go get more. Awesome Hall of Fame celebration at halftime for the Bruins celebrating the 50th anniversary of Title IX with four female inductees to that Wilson Hall of Fame. Cecilia Knoll, Mackenzie Hill, our girl Coach G, Glennis Selden, and Gail Godwin. Gail Godwin, really cool story here, JJ, uh, with a tennis alum from Wilson. Yeah, a lot of people think of like Billie Jean King when they think of uh, people in tennis not being able to play because they were for Title IX. Well, Gail Godwin was also before Title IX, but then went on to have a great tennis career, ended up coaching at UCLA, and she comes back and she gets the letter. For them to give her that letter right there, I just love that. I also love this, guy behind the guy. Love the paparazzi. 
Absolutely, and good to see uh, those incredible female athletes get their shine for sure. And again, got to shout out that Milliken front seven, JJ, taking that early punch from Wilson and then delivering many back. Wilson into Milliken territory just twice after that touchdown drive. Next drive, how sway. Jackson squares up on the run to chuck that ball 50 yards to Anderson for a TD. That's one of the best high school quarterback throws I've ever seen. Jackson, 13 for 15 tonight. 251 yards. This is only Milliken's fifth game, but MJ is playing like it's game six, JJ. More highlights from nine. Of course, he's never on vacation and he's never going down easily. Look at the quarterback move the pile and that's going to get your team fired up. Especially on Saturday morning in film. He is going to love watching that one on replay again and again. Let's go ahead and cap Jackson's night with his sixth Yes, sixth passing touchdown of the evening. That one goes to Osborne. You got to give the love, some love to that Milliken offensive line and Osborne, 146 yards rushing on eight carries. The running game was so efficient, and Jackson wasn't even touched in the pocket all night. How many touchdowns is that? There's one, two, three. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. Getting a little bit of math extra credit out there, just trying to tabulate them up. But we also got to give some more love to Chapman. Two great aerial highlights late to score this touchdown as he gets body slammed like Travis Kelsey. Never quit, but it was Milliken and Jackson's night, 62 to 14. It was a stat line to remember for Jackson. They got to move on quickly. They've got Jordan and Polly just around the corner. They're big, more league matchups right there. But you got to have an MJ shrug with an MJ night like that. Thanks as always to all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center, and make sure you stick with 562.org for all of your local sports coverage.